I'm Alexis Joy from Alexis Joy VIP Access. I am so beyond thrilled to be chatting with you all today and even more so excited, of course, to see you all in Nickelodeon's Allowed House Christmas. Congratulations. Thank you. You're so welcome. Now, The Loud House, as we know, is such an iconic show. So I want to ask, what is it like for you being able to bring these fan favorite characters to life through this wonderful movie? Well, I think that there was a lot of pressure. At least I put a lot of pressure on myself to make myself as much as the cartoon as I can, while also making it my own and giving a different take on Lincoln than it would in the animated series. At first, it was a little hard for me to click with Lincoln, but then they got me in wardrobe, they dyed my hair white, and I immediately, I immediately knew that this was the part for me, and I knew that I could play Lincoln. Same. That's what happened to me. That's so incredible. Lexi, do you want to talk about how you were able to really take on the essence of your character? Sure. Um, so when I got the call back, or like when I got the role, I was super happy, like jumping up and down type of happy. And when I first got on set, I was like, let's do this. You got this. Whew. Whew like that type of thing and um it just to get into the character I had to pull up that lisp like <laughs> hey y'all um and then when we put on the wig it was pretty easy and I got on set did my acting and got off and turned back into Lexi like putting on the outfit and the wig just boom, made me get into that mindset. Like I truly understood her character. That is so beautiful. And how about for you, Dora? Um, well, I was a little nervous because to fill such big shoes, I mean, these Loud House characters are beloved by so many people and you really want to do it justice. So I was a little nervous. I watched a lot of Loud House. Um, studying Lenny. I had, a, I had a notes list in my phone of like 90 notes of every little single um, thing Lenny likes or her relationships with characters. I wanted to make sure I really did her justice um, because Liliana Mummy has done such a great job creating Lenny Sparkle. She's the voice actress for Lenny. And I was very excited though, because it's such an amazing opportunity. That is so wonderful. And you all have really created another loud family for us to really love and enjoy and be able to join in as well. Now, I have to ask, with it being the gift giving season, if you could give a gift to your character, what would you want to give them? Okay, so Lenny loves everything fashion. I would probably want the same gift as Lenny because we're very similar in that way. And I would probably give her Ooh, maybe a cute sparkly dress with ruffles, kind of like what's going on here right now. Um, and probably a cute bag or shoes. So that's that's kind of what Lenny likes. That's probably what I'd give her. I love it. New OOTD that we're making happen. So that's amazing. How about for you, Lexi? So I'm really into science experiments like she is. And one of the top things on my list is a rock tumbler. So you get uh, rocks that are like gray and everything like that, put them in, put in some water, and I think you put in salt too. And then you put it on and put it on this machine to mix it around. And I feel like Lisa would love that too, because that's a really cool thing to like see a rock's true colors. So I think that both of us would really like that. That is so interesting. That's a perfect gift for your character as well. And how about for you, Wolfgang? What would you give Lincoln? Well, first of all, I would give Lincoln a new subscription to Paramount Plus so we can watch a lot of movies. Yeah. And I would also give him some orange shirts. He's uh, going into middle school and he might be outgrowing his old ones. So he's going to need to refill the stockpile. That's <laughs> true. He can never have too many orange shirts. So that's always a good gift to give. Amazing. Now, I love being able to see how much fun everyone has had on set, whether it's behind the scenes clips Nickelodeon has shared or through the trailer. So I want to ask you all, do you have a favorite moment from working on this movie that sticks out to you the most? Oh, yeah. My, one of my favorite scenes by far is, as you saw in the trailer, there was some snow 
and we had a snowball fight. And that's me. It was also the first day that the whole cast was working together. So that was the perfect way to start things off and really get to know each other by hitting each other in the face with a snowball. That's a great way to start off a friendship. That's an icebreaker. <laughs> ah, ah, <laughs> Lexi, what's your favorite memory from working on the movie? Speaking of the snowball fight, something that was pretty funny to me was when we were filming it, I was supposed to throw a snowball at Lincoln, Wolfie, and I kept on falling and I couldn't, I couldn't hit him because my jacket was bulky and it was slippery ice and I was falling (laughs) and it was really funny. I couldn't get it. So they had um, Sophia Woodward do it, who plays Luna Loud. That is hilarious. And of course, for you, Dora, what's your favorite memory? I definitely love the snowball fight as well. That was a blast and um, it really bonded us as a family right off the bat. I also loved work, or okay, so there's, Lenny works at the store called Reininger's and you know, it's in the cartoon and it was brought to real life. And when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is the actual store. That's so amazing. And I got to work with my uh, co-star Tanya. She's not with us today, but she, um, she's definitely somewhere probably shopping. Uh, she's, she's her own star. You know? <laughs> she, you'll, you'll have to watch the movie to see her. She's, she's a funny one. <laughs> of course, I thought Tanya was gonna be joining in on the fun on these press junkets with you. Yes! So. We should invite her to the next one. <laughs> Absolutely. She's here in spirit. So yes. I love being able to see all of the characters' rooms through the behind the scenes video Nickelodeon has shared on YouTube because all of the rooms really capture the true character of all of the loud family members. So I want to ask if you can keep something from the set of a loud house Christmas, what would you like it to be? So there was a computer that was like one of those older ones a retro type of computer and I loved the keyboard and I loved what it looked like. I loved how old I guess it looked and that's what I would bring back. I love it. That's a great, great item to keep. What about for you, Wolfgang? Oh, well, Lincoln had so many interesting things in his room, but I, I really loved his, you know, white and red Adidas shoes. And in fact, I love them so much that I even asked for them. And well, actually, I went. Hey! (laughs) Yeah, so I I did get to keep a few things from set. I would have liked to keep maybe an orange shirt, but there's always next movie. Who knows? So perfect. Yes, we are crossing our fingers for another Loud House movie. And for you, Dora, what is something you'd like to keep? Well, the set um, designers did such a great job. I wish I could take the whole set, but that's not (laughs) a good set. Um, (laughs) But I would probably, it's pretty simple, but I would probably take Lenny's iconic white glasses. I actually have a pair that I would, when (laughs) when we were in Atlanta, I was actually wearing like the red earrings to set and I had my own white glasses. I was method acting. (laughs) Um, I, but I would take her glasses because they hold so many memories on set. That is amazing and such a great accessory to pair with all of your outfits, so why not? <laughs> yeah. Now, of course, one of the holiday traditions is being able to leave cookies and treats out for Santa. So if your character can leave some treats out for Santa, what do you think they would leave out? He would give him some of Little Loud Senior's figgy pudding. Mm-hmm. Yes. to eat on Christmas Day. Ooh, uh, I'm getting hungry now. What about for you, Lexi? What would your character leave out for Santa? Okay, so there's two cookies. One, uh, sugar cookies that look like beakers and have like maybe some dry ice on them to make an effect when she puts them out for Santa. And toffee bars. I think that she would love toffee bars and she would want to share that amazing taste with Santa. Yeah, and Santa's in for some treats at the Loud House. How about He that? is. Well, I think, you know, Lenny's very kind and I think that she would try to um, make these cookies homemade to really make sure Santa could feel the love. And I think she would try to make just 
just plain old chocolate chip cookies, but I think they would not turn out the best because I don't think she would be the best baker. Um, so I think that Santa would get some burnt cookies probably, but she, they're full of love. So Santa will love them. That's the best ingredient. Then. <laughs> so that's all that matters. So we talked about another Loud House movie. So if you can see a sequel or another Loud House movie expanding upon different adventures, what would you like to see happen? Honestly, I don't even know if they're making a second, but if they were, I would want it to be that they, um, it's either based on another holiday, like maybe Halloween or Thanksgiving or New Year's, or they would make a movie where, uh, we clone, Lisa clones the Loud House and I get three times the friends. That is perfect. Seeing all of the different costumes the Loud family can wear on a Halloween special would be super cool. So we would cross our fingers for that. How about for you, Dora? What would you like to see in a movie? Well, definitely a holiday would be fun. Halloween, Valentine's Day, um, any of those holidays would be incredible. If I had to, mm, a holiday would be really fun because like if we got to go to Hawaii or something, <laughs> we get to like be in the warm weather and actually wear summer clothes instead of our winter clothes that we wore in 90 degree weather in Atlanta. <laughs> yes, these are such great <laughs> ideas. We need to see all of these movies happening. Lexi, what kind of movie would you like to see? If I saw another movie by for The Loud House, I would want a number one, a holiday movie. For Halloween, that would be a good idea. Or maybe for summer vacation. And adding on to summer vacation, they could go on a vacation that's very chaotic. Yeah. And somewhere exotic. See what I did there? Well, I love the rhyming. Yes. <laughs> Sure. I also think a road trip would be fun. I feel like that would be yeah. kind of fun. All the ones in one car, such a vibe. <laughs> yes, you are so right. Yeah, I am loving all of these <laughs> ideas. These are so perfect. But in the meantime, we all have to tune in to a Loud House Christmas that will be airing on Nickelodeon and Paramount Plus. Such a magical film. Thank you all so very much for chatting with me. It was such a joy. Thank you for having us. Thank you, Alexis. It was such a joy, your last name. <laughs> you. Thank you so much. We can't wait to see you all in the Loud House Christmas. Thanks for bringing extra cheer to our holiday season. Thanks. Bye. Bye.